Hey, hey, everyone. This one is a little different for my Unreal Engine stuff videos, but uh, since this is an update to an old asset pack, I thought I'd do something a little different for it. Um, people really like this pack. I still really like the design of this robot. So this year I took it upon myself to remake it, to basically make them from the ground up how I would usually make my new asset packs because my process has changed over the, f over the past few years. And uh, you know, for people who already bought this version and you might want to have the original version, you can still do that by downloading the Unreal Engine 4 version of it. If you download the Unreal 4 version, you'll still have the old version. I'm only updating the Unreal Engine 5 portion of the project. Marketplace reviewer guy, if you're the one, if you're watching this, I said it here, you know? Just so you know, when you send the changes needed and you say, oh, the, four po the, U the UE4 version needs some work, well, it's not, I'm, I'm not updating it for the UE4 version. I'm updating the Unreal Engine 5 version. So, additionally, this new model has more detail than its predecessor you know he actually has a a jaw hinge unlike the original the buster has a little bit more detail to it looks more unique than the old radical buster he's also got a ton more animations like a lot more this is the most animations i've ever done for any single project this new version of Mike has 42 animations. That's the most animations I've ever done for any asset pack. So, you know, he still has this power pod. Well, it's a new one, but it's got a lot more detail, as you can see. Clipped animations too for the buster, as well as some different emotes and idle breakers. You know, I really like this one because he's like, stretching you know just getting those servos moving just look it around and different waving states so you guys can do whatever you want with that but uh yeah and as, as you can see he's also running on the new version of my materials this is, i actually modified it just for this one so, you know, before I used to have uh, two material slots for robots, usually, where I'd have like, oh, look, lights and the actual body, right? But uh, I feel like that restricted the body from having specific properties. So I just did some adjustments and now you have like a type of bit of a shifting. If you're looking at the screen right now, you can see that there's a little bit of a shift in the emissive intensity as well as sometimes a shift in color depending on the settings you're using for each material um you know you get like this little prismatic look like an rgb which i think is real cool and really adds to like anything you want to do to the character because like what's most important to me with the asset packs is that i want people to feel like that they can still make this unique right for their projects and for their game so that's really important to me as you can see he uses the three color mask where is it oh wait hold on I don't have the RGB mask on showcase. Let me correct that real quick. Yeah. So he uses the RGB mask now. Uh, when I first made him, uh, these robots only had one mask texture. You could only really pick one color for it. So now it's all different. You can pick up to three colors. Technically more uh, if you include the emissive and the base lights it also this robot still does have two material slots because he does have that glass over his eye so 
but uh, yeah, it's just that glass and his body. So, and like always, I streamed it the other day, so you can see the whole process of how I made most of these colors. But uh, yeah, you can just with all the options you got here. You can really make something really unique here to make the character your own. Mike also sports a new rig, so its previous animations are no longer compatible. That's why I did my best to remake all of the animations. Uh, Mike previously only had 12 animations, I think, and now he has 42, which is a lot more by a huge margin. Let's take a look at some of them here. You know, here's some of the hit register animations. Reacting from the left, the right, back, and front. So... You know, like, when you see a character get shot in a game, they kind of flinch. That's kind of the point of these animations. If you're new to this side of game animation, of course, there's the death animation and the death state. So, the jumping states. Locomotion, as we talked about earlier. Just look at them go. Omnidirectional walking animations, so we can walk back, to the left, to the right, forward, idle, and then a little reference to the zombie version of the original Mike pack, because there's a different version of the pack that has zombie animations. So I don't think I'm gonna be remaking the zombie version. So that's why I just included his animations here too so includes a blinking animation so you can just blend it there's a bone that you're going to want to use so in your animation blueprint In your animation blueprint, when you blend this animation into it, you're going to want to select I parent as the, as the animation slot. And that way you can overlay this blinking over any animation you want to use it with. So that's just if you want to do that. Not everyone wants blinking robots, so I didn't make every animation have a blink, you know? Because uh, if I have to revise that blink, I'm going to have to do it a million times. So, let's get back to looking at the animations. We already saw these earlier. The emotes and the waving. And, of course, the combat animations. So, he has a combat idle. You know, like he's ready to go. He has a chomp, which is another reference to the zombie. Made it a little different this time, where he's a bit more aggressive in, in nature. Clawing animations, like the zombie again. He just slashes his opponent. A punch. And an uppercut, which is a new animation that neither pack had. And the buster... So, I really like how these turned out, especially with the Buster Equip. Yeah. And here we have the Buster Equip animations, where his arm kind of transforms into the Buster. The Buster weapon is also attached via a socket. So, when you enter, again, we're going to enter the skeletal mesh and you're gonna want to attach 
the Buster to either the Buster L socket or the Buster R socket. And the Power Pod should be attached to the Power Pod socket. You know, it's already set up for you. You just add those in any animation, in any blueprint that you're working with, and he should have them. These are blueprint showcase actors I'm using. So, I, I set this up in just a few minutes. So, it's pretty easy to do. You just add the mesh, look for the socket, and it'll be right up here in your list. So, now you know how to do that. Right? And of course, all the props also include different variants of its materials. They're using the same system, so you have the same shifting lights with the prismatic stuff going on with it too. So, World's Your Oyster. You know, if I see people that really like this one, I might go back and refurbish all the other Radical Robots. But uh, for now, uh, I'm holding back. So, and uh, if you're a pos if you're a customer that's buying it now, or who already bought it in the past, uh, a positive review on the marketplace goes a long way. I'd appreciate the support in the real marketplace, uh, as well as on the YouTube channel. Uh, we're approaching the five-year anniversary of the store, so I'd like to get some more reviews in. If you like this pack. Uh, I might consider fully refurbishing the Full Metal Mega Pack. Because uh, like, I already remade the Cyclone this year. And uh, so I could maybe make the other Gladiator Androids. But modular just like the Cyclone. But uh, it'll take a while to work on that. But that's it for today. And uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. And in case I don't see you, good night, good afternoon, and whatever he says. Whatever, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right, bye.